Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Suvos page 50, which discusses what is the maximum amount a person should give to the poor as charity. One would think that if you have a full heart, you should be able to give all of your money. That seems to be a great thing to do. After all, the more charity, the more tzedakah a person does, the greater the mitzvah. On this, the Talmud says that's not the case. The Talmud here tells us that it was instituted in Usha, that a person who wishes to give charity, a person should not give more than one-fifth, or 20% of your entire assets. You should not give more than that. And on this, the Talmud actually tells us the reason why I can't give more. It says, because there is a concern, if you are just constantly giving and giving and giving, you may turn around one day and you'll realize that not only do you not have charity to give others, but you're going to start needing to come on to other people because you have nothing left yourself. Which teaches us that, of course, it's important to take care of others, but we also have to make sure to take care of ourselves. And if God gave us the blessing of wealth, so there's a reason why you were given this blessing. And you should enjoy the blessings that you have. Of course, you should try to give. Again, try to be careful not to give so much that one day you may end up having nothing left. Now, how do we come up with this number? This is actually derived from the famous story when Yaakov was sleeping and he saw in his dream a ladder in which angels were going up and down this ladder. And when he woke up, he said that he didn't realize that he was sleeping in such a holy, sanctified place. And he took a rock that he was sleeping on and he made a decoration right then and there and he said that I promise that Chol Asher Titanli, whatever you give to me, Aser Asrenu Loch, I will give tithing. I will give, literally it sounds like Eser, 10, 10%. But the question is, why does the Torah, why does it say Aser Asrenu, which sounds like a double language? It could be written certainly differently. So it's come to tell you that I will give 10%, and then I will give another 10% comparable to my original 10%. Therefore, it'll end up being a total of 20%. So Yaakov said that, God, whatever you give to me, I will be grateful and appreciative of, and I will not just keep it all for myself. In fact, instead, I will spread the wealth. However, I'm not going to give it all away. So you think about it. If God's giving you this blessing, so God's specifically giving it to you, maybe again, so you should be the agent to help other people. But at some level, you also have to recognize to think about yourself. So as I said, it's an important message for ourselves. First of all, to always try to give charity. If a person is able to tithe and give 10%, that's amazing. If a person can give 20%, that's something that the Talmud says is also certainly acceptable. However, even though it's important for you to be thinking about others, you shouldn't do it at the expense of yourself. And that's also not when it comes only to charity. A lot of times people are constantly doing things for others, constantly doing things for the community, and they allow their own health to suffer. They let their own peace of mind suffer. So we have to bear in mind, as important it is to give and to give and to help, you also have to make sure to take care and also to give for yourself.